It's so refreshing to see uh, a very large increase in interest from young students to actually look at building a career um, in the space field. And uh, hopefully with my speech today, I'll get you excited because I am, um, that there's going to be a ton of really, really cool uh, possibilities for you right here in Canada. I decided to talk about sustainable exploration uh, in space. So what do we do with all of this preliminary information? Well, I believe that we ought to protect the future that we are working towards. The lack of awareness regarding the environmental impact of emissions cannot go uncorrected. And it is only by raising this issue on a global scale and from every perspective in the space industry that we can begin to debate appropriate policy measures. So what you see in this first slide is who we are in Montreal, our spirit. This is uh, the half a million people that participated in the March for Climate uh, Change, <clears throat> for protection of the planet from climate change. Um, and I, I was very uh, proud of participating in such a march and the energy was really, really contagious. Uh, was something very, very beautiful that happened in the city uh, on the 27th of September of this year. So clearly we are concerned with our planet um, and because we are concerned with our planet, then we should also be concerned with what happens around our planet. Uh, so this talk is mainly going to be about the space debris and I'd like to encourage you, if you want to make a big difference in the world, you got to think big. And you have to also go for uh, topics that make a significant difference. And I encourage all of the young people here that are about to start their careers uh, to make a difference in solving this very, very important problem. What I want to uh, take the time to do here is explain how we got to a point where we want to do a, a repairable rover for the moon and uh, how we're going to do this. C'est superbe de voir tout le monde ici. Réuni pour la science. So what it does, the instrument shoots the laser onto the rock, turns it into plasma, uh, and this plasma basically gets captured by a detector and tells us what the chemical composition of the rock is. I think we have to start thinking about what we're putting in space, what is happening there, and the garbage that exists around planet Earth, and what we can do to mitigate this, uh, this uh, problem. It's really good to be working in the space field these days.